Alright, this is Kinnak, uh, trying out a game called x -Mercs. It seems to be a new iPhone game inspired a little bit by uh, XCOM, as you may or may not have thought by the name. Uh, but just got through the opening cinematic. Apparently, uh, world's gone to pot after the passing of a mysterious comet, and we're now stuck in enclaves surrounded by monsters. And we are about to start the combat tutorial with Veronica here. <laughs> Always good advice, taking cover. shields over their head, if XCOM has taught me anything, are telling us that everybody's under half cover. This area is crawling with mutants, so we must hurry. The members of the expedition won't last long in this environment. Move up. Arachnids, they're extremely dangerous in close combat. Order your sniper to take care of them before they have a chance to move in for the kill. Uh, okay. Have to order an aim. Okay, and it gives us all of the relevant stats there. Damage, hit chance, crit chance. Target is hit! And, as she says, another bug bites the dust. Colossus here is our heavy. I'm just going to assume that he's a Russian. That's my best Russian accent, I apologize. So he is tanking for us. Oh. Oh, he's right next to one of these arachnids, so he's going to hopefully shank it. Elected to shoot it in the face instead. That's fine. And everybody has two actions per turn. We've got Widow shooting from back there. Target is hit. And somebody in a spacesuit. You saved my life. My name is Gio Wagner. I'm a biologist. My group was tracked down by a beast we call the Overseer. If you can retrieve the Overseer's body, I will be very grateful and double your reward. Well, I do like being rewarded twice. Hunting a dangerous beast across the jungle doesn't sound like a good idea, but we could use an extra paycheck. Stay where you are. We will send a transport to pick you up. Lock and load, people. Our work here isn't done yet. If this doctor can be trusted, then the Overseer is much more dangerous than the Arachnids. Proceed with caution. I wonder if we can, yeah, get a little zoom going. And we're moving Wolf right now. Everyone has preternaturally loud footsteps, but... I wonder who's supposed to be talking there. Wolf, I guess? The enemy's close. I can feel it. It seems like... I see the enemy! ...poor location. Oh, sweet, merciful god. That's one scary beast. A couple of spike wings are protecting it, and one of them just flanked your scout. Deal with it quickly. Order your sniper to open fire. 
That's a good idea. Thanks, game. Off the wound of the spike went, so this is glasses here. Oh, it's making I'm moving out. Curse. Cover me. Rather than causing a mischance, which is good to know. Changing position, cover! And I'm not sure what they meant by flanked there. And I'd really rather kill the little guy, but. Okay. What the heck? That didn't even slow it down. Any ideas of how to kill this monster, Doc? Never had a chance to properly study it. All I have is a hypothesis of its existence. Hold on, I have an emergency plan. Preparing to receive a control code for the Council's military satellite. Council's orbital cabin? Holy, that ought to bring the sucker down. Target locked. Three, two, one. Beacon is set! seem to do the trick. Alright, so we got some ammo, apparently. And building materials. Looks like Wolf was wounded, and Widow got a rank up from being a badass. I'm not sure if we're supposed to be clicking that up arrow, but it doesn't do anything, so. Apparently we can switch weapons. Welcome back to the base, Commander. Your performance during the last mission was exemplary. All of our men are alive, Dr. Wagner is safe, and the Overseer remains have just been delivered to her lab. Also, at the Doctor's request, we recovered the body of that fallen mercenary. He protected her to his last breath, and she wants to pay her respects. His body is in the cryo chamber. And it probably totally doesn't have alien eggs in it or anything. You know, Commander, there is something strange about Dr. Wagner. Usually, biologists don't have access to the High Earth Council's orbital weapons. I wonder what she really does. We should find out. I'm still betting on eggs. You see rewards for successful completing missions? Tap on the info box to claim it. So we got a cyber module, more building materials, and ammo. When an NPC is, I'm not even gonna read that. You know what the exclamation mark means. Jump on Veronica to learn more about the new mission. Okay, we're not gonna jump into base building. Okay, still sort of in tutorial mode. It's a nice looking base though. Actually, the game as a whole, I must say, very nice looking. Commander, there are a couple of matters that require your attention. One of our soldiers was injured in battle. We need to make sure they receive proper treatment. Also, our sniper proved to be an apt fighter and earned a new rank. Oh, okay, so this is actually our introduction based stuff. Use the squad member to fill the status of your mercs. Tap on the squad to open the menu. With the promotion, your starter can now load a new special skill. Tap the highlighted button to see more. You can do it. Okay, that 
that was not the button. Whatever. To make your sniper more deadly in combat, learn the train shot. Plus 50 to damage, that seems awesome. Wounded mercs are placed in the barracks during the healing process. Commander, the treatment will be quicker and more effective if you use medicine from the Council's orbital station. To do that, tap speed up. Soldier healed. Merc is good to go. Tap to the squad button to get him back into action. Oh, interesting. I wonder if uh, medicine is one of the uh, free-to-play currencies. Great, your squad is mo ready for more missions. Don't forget to open the squad menu after each mission to heal and promote your mercs. Commander, our engineer Lucy has asked that you stop by her workplace. Could you find her in the armory? It turn It looks like she's come up with something that will help her soldiers in battle. Heal the wounded soldier, check. And a level with money and third roam area unlocked. I'm assuming that's some sort of slick uh, futuristic city. Does it tell us now? We have nanites too. Go to the armory and talk to Lucy. Okay, apparently the armory's coming back here. Thank you for the giant flashing arrows, that would have taken a while. Lucy's in charge of manufacturing a base mate. Let's find out what she wants. She is... Let's say very punk. Uh, yeah. Hey, boss. Know what I've been doing for the past couple of days? Fixing vending machines and replacing light bulbs. Is that how you see the place around here? Well, think again. You hired a skilled engineer, now give me some proper work. Retrieve the video log of your last mission. The Overseer and its missions nearly tore you apart. If it weren't for the Council's Orbital Canyon, your mercs would have been rat food in a ditch somewhere. They'd be like sweet mutant rats. At the very least, you should equip your squad with grenades. Buying them in the black market will cost you a fortune, so I successfully manufacture them ourselves. This way, I finally get to do something. Strangely objectifying zoom in. Uh, we'll just we'll just leave that there. Uh, tap on the console to open to the manufacturing menu. Manufacturing. You can speed up the production by using nanites. Okay. Production complete. The armor allows us to build just about anything, a tank, a space shuttle, you name it. All I need is the technology and the resources. Let me know when our eggheads research something new. For the time being, I'll make sure that you have an ample supply of grenades. If you need more engineers to build complex items. But it can wait. I think Veronica has something important to discuss with you. I wonder if this is the frag grenade that we built, or if we completed the mission and another one manifested out of nowhere. Hi, Veronica. I'm stumped, Commander. Dr. Wagner sent us a device called a Cyber Module. It's supposed to... It, um, she said it's to revive the dead! Uh... Sure she's not Dr. West, not just screwing with you. I'm just throwing that out there. The doctor asked us to use it to revive that dead Merc mercenary. I know it sounds crazy, but should we give it a try? If it does work, the device may prove to be very useful. Well, if the first aid plan fails, you've got to go for reanimation of the dead. Oh, it's in the squad menu. I was misinterpreting that area. Cryo chamber. We've got hammer. Wow, these these mercs have the most delightfully like 80s movie mercenary badass names. It it makes me happy. Alright. So you 
Cap Cyborganization. This is incredible! Just an hour ago, I saw a breathless corpse with a missing arm, and now that corpse is sitting in quarantine smoking a cigarette, which, may I add, is strictly forbidden. He has to speak with you, Commander. Let's hear what he has to say. Samuel Mbarra. Hmm. Commander, I owe you big time. The name's Samuel Mbarra, but you can call me Hammer. They say you took out the Overseer? Glad to hear it. That piece of filth killed my boys. Hammer, what happened in the jungle? How were your men killed? I've been asking myself the same question. There was something fishy about this mission from the very beginning. Some big shot contacted me, offered a fortune for escorting a group of scientists into the jungle. It was all going well until arachnids attacked us. Believe it or not, but they acted like they had training or something. Medics say I'm almost too healthy. It's a shame they couldn't bring back my arm, but the cybernetic piece is fine too. If you don't mind, I'll go visit Dr. Wagner in her lab. We need to discuss the terms of my contract. I'll stay in touch, Commander. I don't know, if, uh, if I figure out how to revive the dead, I expect more than $300. I'm just throwing that out there. Commander, this is Hammer. I was on my way to the lab when I got a message from the doctor relaying it now. Can anyone hear me? Please respond. This is Dr. Chia Wander. My lab is under attack, requesting immediate assistance. She's a real trouble magnet. We'll send a squad right away. I knew I could count on you. I'll scout ahead to see what we're facing here. Hammer out. Looks like she is in sort of Germanidly, um, which is good. Like I like that the countries aren't all exactly the same. Like however far in the future this is set. Um, oh, I guess this might be third Rome that we got below before that I mentioned. Um, difficulty very easy. Uh, let's see. So we've got some rewards. We get some platinum. We get some ammo, basic drugs, durable polymers, and superconductors. Apparently these are area progress required. Okay, well, let's get started. A group of unknown mercenaries have attacked Dr. Wagner's lab. Your task is to learn the fate of the doctor and ensure her safety, if possible. Contact. are picking up several human signatures on this floor. We can't identify them. We are certain that Umbara is not one of them. Proceed with extreme caution. Got civilian bodies here. Must be the lab personnel. Change your viewpoint to get a better look at our new friends. Scroll. Oh, there we go. Sorry if anyone got nausea there. It's actually not a bad illustration of the uh, motion they want. Oh, okay. I see what I'm doing. You uh, can't put your uh, either finger on a different interactable object. Otherwise, things go straight. Down. There's this guy who seems to be a jerk. Um, and we have a slightly different team this time. Uh, we've got Bone Crusher instead of or more, wonder if that was, but we'll send him up. Contact! More contacts, your scout is in danger because we sent him forward to stand right next to the enemy. Commander, order him to take a defense position, it's his only chance to survive. He's to engage in dark mode. 
order your sniper to take out the enemy with a trained shot. Double tap. Down an enemy to use an accurate skill. Oh, we're firing in this guy way back here. I mean, that's probably just as well, I suppose. Didn't seem to kill him. Let's send our tank up here. Use grenades against groups of enemies. Sounds like a lovely idea. Okay. Good indicator. I was talking about a red hemisphere, which isn't uh, technically accurate, but I'll take the more accurate, like, square by square approach over. Throw the grenades! A hemisphere. Oh Dark scouts getting shot. Shot to shit. Uh, which might be why we have Bone Crusher here. He might be destined to die valiantly in battle. But we're taking a position behind some crates. Man, Colossus. Some kind of death wish, but die, die, okay. die. <laughs> Apparently, it was not a his death wish. Looks like we have more enemies inbound. Let's give them a warm welcome. Who's moving up? Okay, that's Bone Crusher. Engage Sentry Mode. While it's active, your Mercs will attack the first enemy that comes within range. I forget what that's called next time. Maybe it's still sentry mode. Order heavy trooper to advance. Okay, can do that. I see the enemy. Target is hit. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll just shoot this guy until he falls over. The basis of all modern military strategy. Need to reload! Do you copy command? It sounds like you're having fun here. Jeez with me, I'm taking her to the extraction zone. Great news, Dr. Wagner's safe. This mission is complete. Wrap it up. Hold on a sec, Sunshine. I had a talk with one of these thugs on his way out. The lab is rigged with explosives and could go kaboom at any moment. What? A bomb? Damn it, Ubar. Commander, Code Red. I repeat, we have a Code Red. Prepare for emergency evac. Sorry, I just couldn't read that with the urgency that's required. Relax, baby doll. If the lab goes up in place, so does our paycheck. So quit panicking and disarm that bomb. Hammer out. Wow. That smug son of a... Commander, did you copy that? We have to stop that explosion. <laughs> Apparently the explosive is this way. Oh, the, uh... You know, scroll back for a second. The... the body down there is a really nice touch. Again, very pretty game. Contact. Hey, stop getting shot. I found the sidearm option. Colossus, I find your lack of a fastball special to be disturbing. Use your scout to examine the bomb. 
supposed to bomb there? Oh yeah, there's totally a bomb there. I... This... <laughs> on the phone itself, for whatever reason, this game is very dark. Uh, if I look up on the actual uh, feed uh, on the computer, it's quite a bit brighter, so I'm not sure if that's a problem with my phone or the game. Um, so, if I don't notice anything, assume it's on me, either my phone or just me not noticing things. Commander, this looks to be a standard demolition charge. Any of your mercs can handle it. So I'm really tempted to sit here for two and a half minutes and see what it does. Um, that said... Uh, I'm not going to spend your time that way. Tap on the bomb to disarm it. Damn. Sorry for interrupting, but I tapped into the building's security network. Intact cameras some enemy troops advancing on your position. You'll have to get through them. Get ready for a fight. Commander, get your men to the helm pad. Take out the remaining hostiles and exfil your squad. Yeah, see, this is, <laughs> this is actually a good advice about scouting. <clears throat> right on, moving out. Move the sniper to the extraction zone. Tap the intern button. Move your scout to the extraction zone. There are contacts. Blast through them through to the extraction point. Okay, so the actual extraction zone is over the record. I'm sorry, I uh, I skipped over Veronica's saying some things there. Sorry, Veronica, I'm sorry, but I'm sure that whatever you were saying was super relevant. I think the training wheels are a little off. At least I don't have any flashy errors around everything. Ooh, bright grenade. Bad times. Okay, so... I'm gonna move her slightly just to get behind cover here. And take a shot at this guy. 63% actually, she's working. There we go. Problem solved. Okay. Widow here should be able to. I should not have sent her up first. Reach the extraction point. Presumably we need to. Oh, nope, nope. That's actually fine. I'm I'm used to having to move everyone there, but Oh, and it looks like Colossus ranked up as well. Got some basic drugs, platinum, and ammo components. No, my lab! There must have been a secondary charge. Drew the entire building to dust. I didn't even have time to finalize the scan results. It's all gone! Poor Dr. West. That was not me, by the way. That was actually a cat sneezing. So, if you've ever wondered what that sounds like. Commander, Dr. Wagner will be safer here with us. No one will try to blow her up here. And she may be of use to us, too. She's coming up on a comm channel right now. I was told you live in a cave? As appealing as it sounds, if you want me to move into that hole, I will require at least a proper workspace. Build a science bay and your team of decent scientists, then I can offer my help as a researcher. Trust me, you won't regret having me around. Soldier healed. Oh, hey. So, Bone Crusher is apparently feeling better. Tap on the terminal. View your base. Wow, okay. So, 
looked empty for a second. Must first clear the land. Okay. Select an area to clear. Now begin construction. Tap the highlighted button. on and off. That's a bummer. I'd like to turn the volume down just a tad if we could. Oh. Oh, the button with blinking arrows at it? That couldn't possibly be what you meant. Uh, science bay. The, uh, very... 3D printer looking uh, building. Soldier healed. It has a, a nice, nice aesthetic to it. Science. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Not sure exactly what happened there. Science Bay increases the number of scientists you can hire. Um, so we are. Hmm doing some weird things to the audio here. Construction oh, complete. Finish this up. You can hire more scientists from the research menu. Go to the science bay. We have a science bay now. Hopefully that uh, weird sound thing was just the base screen. One science blade provides space for up to three scientists. This isn't the new Washington Research Center, of course, but it will do for now. It's good to be able to get back to my studies. It's a shame, though, that I'll have to start almost from scratch. I will also research new weapons for you if you supply me with the necessary resources. Science just brought drugs with them. My team was conducting medical research and had a small breakthrough which may be of use to us. Research the medical nanogel, and I will explain how to use the new technology in battle. Soldier healed. So it looks like we are researching med kits here spending some of the basic drugs we found and one researcher and two credits you can use nanites to speed up research it's not going to let me not do that so let's go ahead and do it research Nanogel is an active substance that, upon coming into contact with living tissues, speeds up the process of regeneration many-fold. Side effect includes a high latent toxicity, therefore using these kits frequently can be life-threatening. The medikit is available for manufacture in the armory. And we end a new level. Unlocking Russian Darkwood, some more nanites, and a medkit. And a bunch of medkits, actually. Commander, I'm handing over control of the base to you. If you need me, come to the command center. Alright. Well, that seems like a pretty good place to stop our first episode. Um, or the let's try, I guess, whichever way this ends up going. Um, I might end up playing a little more of this, making a, a let's play, um, but for right now, it looks 
very ex uh, which I don't mean as an insult at all. It's not like, uh, so derivative. Uh, that's more of a, x was a good game. This looks a lot like x It's probably a good game. Um, graphics are very good. The, uh, choice to have, uh, most of the section leads, uh, be female is pretty cool. I'm not sure exactly, like, how their portrayal uh, filters through, but having basically all of them be female and not be like completely horrific um, is automatically good. I mean, I guess having them having m multiple females sort of lessens the blow if one of them's a little eh, um, but. But yeah, they're not exactly, you know, we're not talking Shakespeare here, and that's fine. Um, so, yeah, a lot of stuff to do. I'm guessing that uh, the way these episodes would have to go, uh, if I do a Let's Play, would be uh, a mission and then do some of the, like, upgrades at the end, because it really looks like uh, the upgrades and healing will happen in real time. Uh, which is actually cool. I think that as far as conceits to make a game into sort of a real-time free-to-play game go, uh, that's a pretty neat one, um, and it fits in pretty well with the sort of XCOM uh, setup uh, automatically. So uh, I might give that a try. Uh, otherwise, I mean the game's free to try out. Uh, it is like two gigs, so make sure you have room on your phone. Uh, but it's just come out, looks pretty neat. I'd say uh, give it a shot, and regardless of what you decide, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time.